questions for the student athletes? We'll start with Justin and then David. Uh, Ryan, how's it been settling in at Tackle? Oh, it's been good. Uh, if anything, it's been great. You know, just taking it day by day with the fellas. Um, focusing on the present, being present, you know, helping each other out, just trying to get better each day. So you haven't played any collegiate snaps, though this year is going to be your, your first year. What's your mindset now that you're going into this year? Uh, my mindset, you know, just not, I'm just trying to do my job, you know, not to uh, overthink it, you know, just the next man up. Just got to do my job and stick to the course. We'll go to David and then Brian. Brian, how would you describe your style? Uh, I said my style is just relentless, you know, it's my name, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Rhino, you know, I just go out there, you know, mess up. Hey, I'm going to be back next play, you know, I'm going to be here all day. I ain't getting off the field. So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Can you explain your name? Is that your actual first name? Um, is that a nickname? So that's a nickname. Uh, my first name is Chelsea. Um, I got that name. When I was playing Pop Warner Little League football, grew up in reputation where I'm from, and uh, it just stuck with me as I traveled around the country. So, yeah. Brian, then Michael. Uh, Wendell, what, what can you uh, tell us about like uh, your status and, and what's been kind of keeping you out from the main stuff so far? Um, sure, just like soft tissue stuff, nothing really too big, and it's just been lingering on. But today was a good day. I got back in today. Got some team reps. Yeah, I mean, if, if the if there were a game on Saturday, would you feel ready to go? I'll feel comfortable to play. Brian, then um, next over there. Go ahead. For me, yeah. Um, when are you uh, lining up next to uh, Ryan on the left side? There, what is your um, assessment of his play so far, and what is your kind of advice for him um, on how to excel in that role? So far, he's been doing a good job. I mean, he's been taking the coaching. He's been uh, like accepting everything Coach O's been teaching. And today it felt comfortable playing right next to him. Um, no issues. Sure. And for Ryan, when did they tell you that you're going you're gonna to get a shot here to be the guy at last half? Was that during the spring? Was that over the summer? When did you, um, you get to put yourself in that position? Um, I'd say it was uh, probably like right before. Honestly, they never told me straight up. They just told me, hey, like you know, you're gonna you're gonna go with the ones, and then you know, from there on, like when we start practicing in the summer, had our own like the peer peers and everything. Uh, it just stuck with that, you know, and um, it's been good. I've been taking, t I, I, I've been taking um, advantage of it, you know, trying to make the most of it, and um, yeah, that's, that's it. Matt and then Justin. Right now, I'm like one for each of you. Right now, we comes from the learning from a guy like Jordan Moore. You know, super even heel, obviously, he leaves a big shoes to fill with a left tackle. But what did he teach you last year? And really teach all the offensive linemen about how to approach every day, especially in game. Um, so Jordan, uh he he wasn't really uh like a, a talk a talkative guy, but uh, you know, in the meetings, not even in the meetings, but in the field, if if we mess up, you know, he'd always try his best to correct us and to explain his his own little way of teaching and uh it, it's good you know to have those extra and bad eyes you know that i like to coach me up on and it's just more perspective you know to help me up my game and uh for that yeah but he has all my respect you know him all the other guys jonah whoa you know and it's, just, it's really a, a work all around you know team effort so yeah and Wendell, uh, when it comes to camp and, and this setting i know you guys are trying to Stay healthy with the ultimate eyes on August thirty first in New Mexico. But is, is there challenges to continuing to build chemistry with the top group and the second group when so many guys are you know in and out with and they can lose here and there? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I, I believe the ones we need the reps because uh, when it comes to game day, uh, we depend on the ones. But the twos, they're they're coming in and doing the job too, uh, like. Next man up, really. So if it comes down to the twos, I, I trust in them with all my heart. Justin and Brian, a question for, for both of you guys. Um, well, how would you describe the, the Polynesian culture that's here at the U of A right now? You got that, bro. Uh, I just say uh, Polynesian culture, it's, it's really big. You know, it goes back to when Will, to Tuitama, and then we're all here, you know, uh, to Yalamaka back in like 2011, 2012. Uh, 
Uh, I could just say, snap, I don't know, history repeats itself. But uh, not even that, but it's just, I say Arizona gives us the opportunity, you know, that uh, not a lot of, uh, let's say, what is it, um, big schools, let's say, get, get give, you know, like we, had, we get the opportunity here that we wouldn't uh, get anywhere else and not even that, but just, just the people, you know, you know, um, uh, if y'all know Polynesians, we're, we're loving people, we're family oriented. And when, when there's a lot of us, it's just like a, it's like an effect, you know what I'm saying? Just like if you put a raw fruit with a raw fruit, you know, they're going to get raw. And, you know, you put good people with good people, you know, they're, they're going to be more good people. You feel me? And that's really that. That's all I got to say. And then how would you summarize your football playing journey Utah to LA before Arizona. Um, so right, like summarize. Sorry, what do you mean? Just like tell the story of Rhino and you know your, uh, your football journey prior to Arizona. Uh, so I got recruited. I got recruited to play high school in LA. Uh, of course, I had a host family that looked out for me during my time there. And um, at first, I didn't really didn't think too much of it. You know, I just thought oh, I'm going to Cali play ball. But you know, through time, I matured and. Uh, grew, grew mentally, physically, and uh, I say that's what helped me move here. You know, get ready for the next level because it was basically like a mini college. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I took the opportunity. So, so yeah. Brian and Troy, Wendell, when you were on the sidelines watching the reps that were going on, what did you see from uh, some of the guys that were filling in for you at your spot? Did anyone that stood out? Um, nothing in particular. Uh, Especially when we watch film, uh, there's really not much to be fixed upon. Uh, it's really just getting more reps in with the tools. And when I watch them, I'm like, man, I just want to play so bad. And any of them that stand out that, that you feel like you could do your job if you're not having there? Um, if it comes down to it, uh, I believe in Alexander Deuce. Uh, he's been taking over the road so far, and he's doing a great job. Is he as strong as people say he is? He is strong. And that is not, that's by an understatement. Be strong. Troy and Matt, kind of going with the strong for both of you guys, the obviously new strength uh, staff of Coach uh, Carroll leading that. What has been the differences between this previous staff and this staff? And what are the goals that this staff has for you guys as offensive linemen? Um, the goal is the same uh, to win. Uh, it really hasn't changed since the last staff. And I believe this staff came in with that mentality. Well, I meant in, in the strength room, though, in terms of goals, of meeting goals, in terms of weight, stuff like that. Is there a different mindset than the previous staff in the weight room? Um, I don't think so. It's, it's the same with the strength and conditioning staff. They're really taking care of us. Um, they're trying to keep us strong, you know, throughout the season. And I, I believe we had a good summer, and a lot of people got strong. Mm -hmm. and, for, and for you, I was just the impersonations of Coach Carroll and what he's been able to help you guys with so far. Oh, yeah. Um, like Wall said, you know, uh, new coach, same goal. Uh, it's been good. You know, he's been – he has his own way of teaching, just like every other coach, and it's been good. You know, we've been making the most of it, you know, just trusting the process, honestly. And uh, right now we're just ready to get to work, you know. That's it. Now we'll go Matt and then Justin. Uh, right now you had the benefit of watching this offense start to gel on the sideline last year. When you look at this group this year, how can it take another step? How good can this offense be? Oh, we can be good. We could be great. If anything, we could be even better. You know, and that's honestly really what it is. But uh, right now, we're not we're not trying to look too far. We're just focused, like being where being where our feet are. You know, just taking it day by day, trying to become the best versions of the can of, of ourselves and you know of our of the team. And that's really it. Justin and then Michael. All right, how? Helpful has no Fafita been during this process for you? How huh? how helpful has he been oh, as the quarterback nah, nah. the offense? He's been he's been great. He's been good. Uh no QB one, you know, no matter what it is, he always has positive words, always always uplifting the offense and the huddle, if not the huddle out, you know, on the way to meetings. You know, there's always positive talk with him. He's always um uh teaching us game when when it when he can, you know, if there's something he's concerned about, he'll tell he'll tell me. So you know, it, it's been really good, you know, to have, to be able to have that healthy communication with each other, you know. Last question to Michael. Um, Wendell, I know you haven't had a ton of um, reps out there in the team periods, but when you have been out there, 
And when you watch film, have you noticed anything different with how the interior defensive linemen are attacking? Coach Akina was saying that last year it was more of kind of a hold up the blockers, and, and now they want to get more vertical. What have you noticed in that regard? Um, our defensive line really tries to pressure the pocket a lot more, uh, especially in that past game. Um, when they when they read it, when they read our offensive line, uh, it's harder to make calls because of it feels like they know what we're doing. But um, our defensive line, I, like they're way better. They're doing a lot more, like trying to attack the quarterback.